Hey everyone, Katherine King here and ready for another episode of What Did I Haul? And today it's Lurid Apothecary. So I will let you know, I am an admin um, for Lurid. Um, not gonna hide that from you guys, but this is my order, okay? So I do order my own wax. There were a couple extra things in here um, as part of being an admin. I'm gonna be honest about it, AJ is getting himself comfortable. All right, he's laying down. So um, I'm gonna be completely honest with you about that. But I mean, I did place, you know, a large order. Um, so I just want you to know these opinions are all mine, even though Sarah did send me um, a couple extra things uh, for my review. Um, excuse me. Uh, I did, you know, order my own. So let's get into it she this time I think Sarah might be switching over to doing the the bricks and the snappy bars so that's my stack I did also grab something from the clearance section I'm gonna I'm just moving my bricks separate from my bars the snappy bars so let me show you the size difference, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Oh, sorry, there. So there is quite a, quite a big difference here. Um, so what I did is I wanted to be able to try a lot more scents. So I got a lot in the smaller size and then the ones I knew I would love, I got in the bigger size. So the one I got off clearance was Full Moon. So this one was a little odd, but there's just something about it. I just couldn't get enough. So it's raspberry sugar type and corn muffins. So you know my love of zucchini bread. And yeah, this just gives me like that feel that I get with zucchini bread. That warm, cooked yumminess, I guess you could say. So it's got, you know, the different colors in it. So it is, it's just raspberry. It's like you, you got a corn muffin and put raspberry jam on it, but the, it's definitely corn muffin heavy. So, um, oh, we'll, we'll do samples after. Okay, so the ones that I got in the Snappy Bars. So this first one is Cozy. Oh, okay, so if you see her labels, sometimes they get a little difficult um, to read, but I love, I mean, if you look at it, it's like a cozy blanket. So Cozy is sweater weather type. Okay, I like sweater weather. And I also, I let you know, I also got a shape of sweater weather. Um, I've never smelled sweater weather at Bath and Body Works. And it's probably because it's not a fruit or bakery. But I, I love it. So it's just kind of got these kind of a brown and the blue with the glitter. I have found, I got another blend or something with sweater weather in it. And I was like, ooh, I like that. So I've been trying to order a few more sweater weathers. So then she also did send me one in the shape. So some of you I know in your samples um, got shapes. And then I think she was putting out like a, a newbie kit or something that was going to be in shapes. So this was poured, dang it, I can't read it. 1111, I think. Okay. I do have a couple in the shapes that actually, I think I got all of, yeah, I got all of these. So that's good. Okay. So the next one, I got two of the Christmas cookie battle. Let's see. Okay. It's definitely sugar cookie forward. I don't smell the maple, which is good. I didn't know if I would like it because I'm not a huge maple person. 
but look at that. Isn't that fun? And I like how in this one, it's not necessarily the tie-dye type look, but yet it's got all those fun glitters in it. Mmm, that is good. It's definitely cookie, um, the sugar cookie forward, but I can, I mean, just a hint of the, the maple, I think. Yeah, it's good. I like it. So I got two of those and a sample in that. Okay, next one, which I'm wondering if I should have gotten two. Christmas Bake Off, Cranberry Relish, Pie Crust, and Tea and Cakes. So I know Lori loves tea and cakes. I'm on tea and cakes. Cranberry Ford sweet cranberry not like a it says cranberry relish but this isn't like a, a tart cranberry this is definitely like you made cranberry relish and you put a lot of sugar in it oh that's good oh that's good that is good poured 11 6 so i do let things cure so these will be uh, melted later in december as you know my my all my melting bins over there are a little full anyway this one, I definitely should have gotten bigger. Jingle Bell Rock. Sweet candy cane, peppermint fluff, and peppermint twist. I mean, seriously. Did I get it in the big? Nope, I didn't. Isn't that a shocker? Knowing my love of peppermint. Huh. It's definite peppermint, but it's like I, I smell something in there. Maybe the fluff, it has like, you know how when you eat something, it's got like a little aftertaste. This has like an after smell of something, something sweet. So I'm wondering if it's the peppermint fluff. Hmm, that's different. Nice fun bar again. That, you know, that has a little extra, little extra, extra in that. I like that. Next one, I got two reindeer games. One of these was given to me. Um, Snickerdoodle cookies, butter brickle, caramelized pralines. So she knows that I love butter brickle. Mm, so good. So to me, it's the caramel and butter brickle forward. And I definitely smell the snickerdoodle. It smells like a serious snickerdoodle, not just cinnamon, but the actual like cookie snickerdoodle. That is, that's excellent. And it's not, to me, it's not heavy on the cinnamon. So I make pumpkin snickerdoodles during the, um, during the holidays. I'm not doing any baking this year. I only gained a pound and a half over Thanksgiving, considering I ate pretty crappy. I'm kind of impressed. So I gotta be careful. Okay, next one, snowball fight. This is holiday spice, plum, sugar, and mint. This one I was like, hmm, plum, sugar, and mint. I don't know, so let's see what we got. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I swear I smell tree. Holiday spice, plum, sugar, and mint. I swear I smell tree in this. Mm. Unless it was laying up against a tree. I don't know. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. I, do, I swear I smell tree in that. Snowball. I don't know. Maybe it's supposed to be like a mix of like fresh fallen snow or something. I don't know that that's got a little extra something in it as well. I think, I don't know. That is not what you would think when you think of holiday spice and mint. There's, there's a little something. Okay. So this one, I also got a sample in and this is a sugar plum macaron. So sugar plum macaron is sugar plum macaron and cranberry. So down below, let me know if you know the difference between a macaron and a macaroon. Kind of obnoxious about those kinds of things. Isn't that pretty? 
Mmm. That is so good. Definitely plum. Mmm. And the cranberry. That is delicious. I should have gotten more of that one, too. So I've been watching um, Food Network, like the different holiday baking, and they kept mixing up macaroon and macaron in the way they were saying, and it was just really beginning to tick me off. All right. Whoville is sweet musk, vanilla frosting, allspice, maple sugar, and a hint of pine. Musk. I can definitely smell the musk. I'm not sure. This smells, to me, this smells like a Casey scent. I don't remember, Casey. Did you get this one? I might have to watch your video again. That's really good, but it is musk forward. I don't, do I smell pine? No, I don't really smell the pine. I smell like the frosting and stuff, but it's definitely musk forward. I think for me, this will be a really good bathroom scent. Okay, next one, winter mocha. And I know this one probably surprises you guys. Sorry, my back hurts today. It was, it was a day from hell at work. Um, so winter mocha, peppermint mocha and vanilla bean. You, cause I know you guys know I'm not keen on chocolate and wax, but I smelt another, um, peppermint mocha and I was like, kind of like that. So this is definitely peppermint mocha. You can absolutely smell the, the, uh, chocolate, but also the, the brilliant peppermint. I love peppermint. I was melting an L3 peppermint over the weekend, and it was fantastic. Okay, now we're on to the bricks. So the brick, this one is crystal ball, and this is eucalyptus and spearmint. And look at those fun, I'll take it out of the bag, but it was cute. And this, to me, will be a bedroom scent. Oh, that eucalyptus. Man, I love eucalyptus. See, look at that. And I mean, seriously, don't these remind you of those little spearmint candies? This is a beautiful blend of eucalyptus and spearmint. It is, to me, it's eucalyptus forward, which is a-okay with me because I love eucalyptus. Next one, this one she did give me. Um, so I, I hope you guys appreciate the fact that I'm honest about that. So, um, you know, uh, she doesn't have to give us stuff for being her admins, but I do 100% appreciate it. So this one, holiday cheer. And this is gingerbread and cinnamon. Oh, gingerbread and cinnamon donuts and cinnamon bread pudding. So I wonder how cinnamon heavy this is. Okay, this is cinnamon heavy, but it's a bakery cinnamon to me, not a red hot cinnamon. My head knows the difference. I can smell the gingerbread for sure. It might be a touch too heavy for my, my head. I'm not sure. I might melt a cube or two to see what I get. And if it's a little heavy, I'll just add in some vanilla bean buttercream or something like that to kind of tone down the cinnamon for me. Or maybe even like a just a sugar cookie or something like that. That's beautiful though. I can definitely smell the gingerbread, so I like that. Okay. And then the last one I also got in a sample and in an ornament. Isn't that the cutest little ornament? Okay, so this one is Fa La La. So I must have said I really like, oh, well, of course I'd like this one. Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Buttermint Candies. That just says Catherine all over it, doesn't it? Mmm, Buttermint Forward love buttermints. I even like eating buttermints. 
Yes, you can smell the buttermint and the vanilla bean buttercream or vanilla bean Noel. Mm, man, that's beautiful. Oh, I hope you guys got this one. Oh, 11, nine. You know what? I don't even think this one would need a cure time. That's a beautiful peppermint. Beautiful mint blend. Absolutely. Love it. So that's what I got. Um, I like how it's in this kind of format because for me, then I, that this is how I put it in the drawer because I do have a lot of these. I do like her um, Lurid bags. So this is like a, this is a small Lurid bag. And of course, as you know, um, her sweet pretzel is my number one absolute favorite Lurid um, blend. And I have three large Lurid bags and I think some small Lurid bags of it. I didn't get any this time because I wanted to leave it for you guys. I know she'll end up pouring it again. So this is what I got. I'm very excited. I've started taking my samples with me to work. Um, so I've, you know, started in on those. So that's what I got for you. So keep your eyes out. I will be posting things starting December 1st about her launch that's coming in January. We are, um, well, Sarah is enjoying the holidays with her family. And so we are um, prepping and that kind of stuff for her new launch in 2022. She's chosen about, I don't know, six or seven different um Oh, I can't even think of the word now. Themes, themes. So each of her launches is going to be a theme and her ideas, you guys are going to be so excited. So this next one coming out in January has been in the works for a while. Um, so I will start posting things about it on the first. So keep your eyes out and open and ready for that because it's going to be really awesome. You guys are going to be stoked. So that's what I got for you. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and I'll catch you in my next haul. Bye.